I would like to thank Robin the Girl Wonder for this story that came out in the sun June 15th, 2019. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Gardner, 25, almost blinded and covered in burns by toxic giant hogweed. Wow. You know, you would think a lot of people know about this plant, but you... <laughs> It just appears that so many people look at that plant and they don't know the dangers of what it can do. A gardener was almost blinded and left with horrific burns to his face when toxic sap from a giant hogweed squirted on him. Doctors told Oliver Fenton, 25, he was lucky not to have lost his sight after the juice landed on his eyelid. Yeah, and you can see it's all burnt around his eye. Woo, he's lucky because that giant hogweed, that can make you go blind and that blindness is permanent, y'all. You don't come back from that. You're not going to regain your sight back. Okay, you grow a giant hogweed. Showing the terrible burns to his face and body, Oliver, a self-employed gardener of Tunbridge, Wells, Kent. Okay, so this is over in the UK, described his painful injuries. He said, I was in someone's garden doing garden clearance and I didn't actually cut any of the hogweed. I just came into contact with it. Well, that's all it takes. That That's all it takes. And I think they said within 10 to 15 minutes after coming into contact, that's when you get all the blistering and burning on the skin, second degree burns from it. It was the red marks which came up first of all after the first few hours. Unaware I had got this sap on me, I continued to work and it wasn't until two and a half days later I came up with all the blisters. Oliver went straight to the doctors where he was told he had been soaked in the sap. He added, I had steroid cream dressings. It was all bandaged up for around four or five days. Excruciating agony. I bet it was. Woo, he had to feel that burn bad. To his horror, some of the sap landed on his eyelid, nearly leaving him blind. If you actually get the sap in your eye, you can go blind. So that was really close, he said, describing the pain he endured from the blistering. Oliver said, it's unbearable. It's really itchy, really irritating. It's as if you've been dancing in stinging needles or something like that. Damn, I don't ever want to know what that feels like. Once it had a bit of sunlight on it, that's when it reacts to the UV rays and starts to blister. I was in excruciating agony, constantly being reminded of the pain until the blisters popped. Ugh, ugh, and started to heal up. Horror hogweed. Giant hogweed. <laughs> yeah. You know, they said it's more closely related to a carrot, y'all. I mean, I just find that interesting. But with the giant hogweed, the whole thing is toxic. Everything on it, including the root, the, the leaves, the flower, the stem, the entire thing is toxic. The sap contains chemicals which react with light when it touches skin, 
causing blistering within 48 hours. It prevents the skin from protecting itself from sunlight, which can lead to very bad sunburns and scarring. And they said, you feel that pain up to 10 years, 10 years. Getting soak in the sap can result in painful blisters, long lasting scars. It can cause ulcers and blindness. And one nature expert, Mike Duddy from the River Trust said, it is without a shadow of doubt, the most dangerous plant in Britain. Well, it's the most dangerous one in America too. The burns and pains are pure agony. I can't walk. I would hate to see a child in my position. The pain is unreal. The perfect cocktail of hot weather and rain has made hogweed flourish in recent weeks, experts say. And you know, they said it's going to be an explosion of it up in Canada this year. That's a lot of it here. I mean, in the U.S. It can tower um, 23 feet. And now public enemy number one in the countryside. Horticulturist uh, Dean Simmons was left with life-changing injuries after brushing against one of the plants growing up in Taunton, Somerset in 2015. It's like tentacle, like frauds touching his bare legs and he suffered agonizing skin burns that doctors say would take months to heal. Speaking at the same time, he said the burns and pains are pure agony and I can't walk. Wow. So it's just up here in the quotes. It's really the same thing. Oh man. Woo. He's lucky. He got the sap on his eyelid. Yeah, he's lucky, but he's going to feel that burning for a long, long time, y'all. A long time he's going to feel that. Woo, man. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.